Hello, and the show comes out this week, Rings of Power, and this trailer here, which I'm not going to watch due to copyright reasons, this came out last week, but let's imagine you're watching this with no knowledge of Rings of Power or just a surface level understanding of Lord of the Rings, which is going to be most people by far, I'd imagine. Um, and you would probably have still have heard of who Galadriel is. And she is quite prominent here. And the marketing, te marketing team is leaning on that because trigger warning, she ticks a lot of boxes to be shown off here. And so she is the focal point and we have her here in different locations. We have her here in Numenor, seeking allies or spreading news, whatever, before she sets out on her quest to defeat the bad guys. And then we have a whole heap of action. And there is probably going to be a whole lot of action here. And ultimately, you know, that's what people generally want to see. And that is where the money is. Hence, um, yeah, obviously some people would be a bit disappointed by that potentially, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, of course, there is the Hollywood blueprint um, I don't know if there's an actual way or, or proper term for that in storytelling where the main hero is someone like, you know, he doesn't want to be the hero and gets put into this impossible situation against the impossible odds and somehow um, they come out on top. Um, that is kind of what it looks like here in this trailer with Galadriel anyway and because it's so centralised on her arc. And, well, you do still have a look at all the side characters letting you know that there will be you know some other people there to join her on her quest line you know you've got the dwarves there and you've got some dude doing some polo practice but obviously by the amount of screen time we have in this trailer it's very obvious who they want us to be focusing on right but yeah there are going to be some people that are a little bit upset by this because they wanted this to be a faithful and like a factual representation of what Bilbo Baggins wrote in the Red Book of Westmarch, which is where the annals of the Second Age come from. But that would be incredibly difficult to make it broadly and massively appealing to people because like, okay, how many people who watch Jackson's original trilogy, let's not talk about The Hobbit, have read the books, right? And how many of those people actually read the appendices, the bits at the end? A few few less. And then how many have read the Silmarillion? Even fewer. How many people watching this have read it? And then how many people have actually understood it? And then do you think that it's feasible to make a story out of it for the screen? Well, I do. But I also think that it would have needed to be written by someone that is sadly no longer with us. And there's no way that it would have been up to people's expectations otherwise. And for that reason, the, the people, I mean, myself included, people that would want a factual and faithful representation, they are always going to be disappointed. Go into it with a different mindset, I would suggest. But um, do as you will. But um, yeah, that is the look, the final look at this trailer. And it does kind of look like this is just going to be a bit of a Galadriel show. But I look eagerly onwards to like whether or not that's going to be any good. <laughs> so anyway, thank you very much for watching and um, good day.